I'm starting a new project today, and that is the secret room on the barn. We have a pretty good sized pole barn, but off to the side we have this addition. And this is a room that we don't really use much, but I want to use. So we're gonna clean it out and turn it into something really awesome. So that's the 360 tour. It's a basic, maybe 14 to 16 foot square room. We got junk, just leftover building supplies, junk that's been sitting here. We got a ton of wire and that's from the entire renovation. All the wire from the house and barn stashed up. I think that's gonna be the first thing I get rid of because it's in the doorway. So let's load up this mess of wire, take it to the scrap yard, hopefully get some money for it today. I gotta clear the trailer off and I got some wood on here for a special project. Getting dirty. It wasn't supposed to be it wasn't supposed to be out here all this time. It's been out here too long. Or I would have covered it with a tarp. So we got back from scrapping the metal. You can see we got rid of all that copper. We'll be showing that in another video, but that means the barn is one step closer. And you can see I picked up a couple things while we were out. I just got some mulch and wood, some things that we want to do coming up. Oh, thank you. Right. So it's getting late, it's getting cool out, but we got a little more work to do. I really want to start cleaning up that room. So let's see what else we can pick up. So this is where we're at in here. I got a bunch of PVC back here. Pipes, just leftover plumbing pipes that we took out of the house and some extra new ones that we were from doing the house plumbing. I want to save those in case any kind of weird projects come up. So I'm going to try to find a home for them, I think next. When it comes to cleaning, I just like to focus on one thing at a time because when you look at the whole thing, it gets overwhelming. So I kind of zero in on one thing and I say, what can I do with this? And I don't know what to do with that. I think the next thing I want to do is get rid of these cabinets. Can you, can you believe that we still have brand new cabinets from that disaster kitchen cabinet experience? Those are all the wall cabinets that we never ended up using. I still don't know where I want to put those. I didn't have a good wall cabinet spot in the barn or I would have put them together. I still don't have a good spot, so I'll hold on to them for now. Even though this kind of pile of stuff seems unrelated to the other room over there, I have to clean this before I can clean that. This is my keep stuff and it's on two pallets. I'm gonna pull it all off, organize it, and figure out if there's anything I can put in a better location and get it organized in here.
post. I just gotta cut this metal first. And then you can help. Got it. Better. and then we'll be quiet for a little while. So here's the whole concept behind what I'm doing. I wanted to clear this space out and get these new pallets down so I can reorganize and put stuff here. If I have more room here, that means I have more space to pull stuff out of that extra room. So now I basically got to take everything I pulled off the wooden pallets and put it back, plus stuff from the other room. So I'm back in the side room and I have been pulling stuff out and putting it onto the new pallets. But I'm running out of light, so we're going to be ending it pretty soon here. Just doing what I can, getting done what I can. And it's coming along pretty well. So I just wanted to come back to this and show you guys the organized area. Basically put a lot of the stuff that was here back that I wanted to keep. Uh, this just keeps it in a central spot off the floor. That's all that matters to me is I can see the important stuff. I'll probably be getting rid of this air compressor soon because I don't need it. I don't know what to do with it. It's not really valuable to me. The rest, the rest is what it is. I got the cabinets back there that were in the back room. Yeah, that's just junk. Yep. Some spare flooring underneath here. This light that will hang somewhere in the barn soon. And just some odds and ends. Uh, I got more cleaning done in this part of the barn than I did in that part of the barn, but that's okay, you gotta work together. Some of it I'm kind of stumped on. I have to ask Ashley what she wants to do with. We got a toilet that I don't know what to do with. We might just put it by the road for free. We'll see. Is it cool? It's pretty cool. What do you yeah. wanna do with it? Uh, how can you end a chicken? I know. Put yeah, some white on. I how don't know. About, how about. Uh, hi. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> <laughs> How's school going? Good. Uh, remember when we multiply decimals, we don't add a zero. So, some people have been wanting to see new artwork. Does Belle have any new artwork? Yeah. Let's see one. Oh, Belle, you did a great job on this one. That was Maverick's art. Oh. I have a sky dragon. Well. And I also have made an autumn dragon. We'll show that one later, okay?
All right, I'm gonna get back outside and clean. All right, I'm gonna try to do a little bit more work in the barn today, so just getting this room cleaned out a little more. I'm stumped on what to do with some of this stuff, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm making progress, but you really can't see it. Little tiny things. I'm having trouble with this. These, this is all the cutoffs from our siding when I had to cut out the window openings. And I just don't know. I feel bad about getting rid of it. But I can't imagine what I would use this scrap for. Do I hoard it? Do I get rid of it? I don't know. Gotta find a spot for it. I'll hold on to it for a little bit. I guess I'll get these pallets out of the way. It always feels good clearing off the floor. Here's something interesting I'll show you before I bring it out. Some of you, some of you know this, some of you might not. Sometimes you'll find pallets with this symbol on it. This one's a little hard to see, but you'll get the idea. And if you're looking for pallets and you might be concerned about what they're treated with, if they have chemicals or pesticides on them or whatever, this is a good way to know how it was treated when they come overseas. So this is a foreign pallet, came from another country, and it has an HT on it. I don't know if you can see that. It says HT. And that means that this pallet was heat treated. So they treated it with heat to make sure there was no bugs or pathogens that are gonna come over into our country. And that means it's safe, it was just heated up. So always look for the HT. And you'll know that the pallet wasn't sprayed with anything. I missed all this wire when I took the scrap up yesterday, so I'll probably set that by the road. <sighs> Now I gotta figure out what to do with all this paneling that we saved out of the house. And I do not have a spot for it, but I'm gonna look. So I don't know where to put that. I can't find a spot, but I'm gonna start pulling staples out of it. If we can get it cleaned up so it can stack flatter, then I'll be better off. So I just finished up processing these panelings. You might be wondering why I'm keeping them. I don't really know. There's no plan for them and I hope it's not a waste of time to pull all those staples out. They just look like good panels and I hit to throw them out. 
I've decided to part with these though. These will be going because they're just not that great. They're ugly and they're not in good shape. The room is opening up though. It looks really good without that paneling against the wall. But now I gotta find a home for these. And I think I'm gonna do it right in here along this side if I can squeeze them right here. I gotta pull this nail out, but between the wall and the, the countertop. Well, I was able to squeeze it all in there and it doesn't look too bad, so I'm happy with it. So now the room really looks good. I think I'm gonna pull this out. Toaster oven, I don't know if I'll keep that. I'm gonna put this by the road. Now that's a motor, I'm gonna put that by the road. We'll see. So I made a decision and we're just putting it all by the road for free. Yeah, come on, let's go in. So we put a toilet, our extra toilet that we bought when we moved in uh, by the road. Also put a shelf, a motor, some wire, odds and ends. Hopefully somebody can make use of it and it'll take up less space in our barn. It was a new toilet. We only used it a couple times, honestly. Well guys, I didn't get the room cleaned, but I got a lot done. It was actually a slow process, organizing, sorting. A little at a time, we'll get it done. I'm pretty excited to start working on that room. So yeah, we'll be back soon with another video. And until next time, take care. Bye.